Coronation Street's Eileen Grimshaw is arguably one of the unluckiest ladies in love on the cobbled street. She's been involved in triangles, affairs. Now she's unknowingly embroiled in one of Corrie's biggest ever scam storylines involving her current flame, Pat Phelan. Eileen is, of course, played by the lovely Sue Cleaver, friend of the stars, <laughs> very good friend of Richard Arnold. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. Oh. I tolerate him, yeah, we oh. all, like we, you do. Well, we all know that feeling. Your storyline, which is uh, mm. sort of getting more and more complicated mm. this week, because you have this boyfriend, yes. Pat, but he's obviously involved in a terrible scam that's taking advantage of all the vulnerable people on Coronation Street, including your son. Yeah, well, it's more me he's taking advantage of, to be honest, than everybody else. But yes, he is. He's got this big building scam. But uh, as far as Ireland's concerned, he can do no wrong. No, I know. He's, um, she's, she's really fallen for him. She, to her, he's done nothing to say, you know, to, to, to prove otherwise. Now, you make bad choices. Your character makes bad choices. But you yes, are... Yes, my character. I was going to say, because... You realise it's not actually... Behind the scenes, you are an agony aunt on well, Coronation Street. Well, no, well, I sort of... Uh, I I've been uh, trained to be a psychotherapist mm -hmm. and I've just had to defer my final year because of this storyline that it's just too busy. But yes, I, I do dabble a bit. I sort of uh, lend a, a friendly ear. I've done a few bits on this morning and What would you I say to a, you know, to a very attractive woman in her 40s who's just in total denial about her, her colleague at work and how she really feels about him. I, I think you should rely on your own instincts and I think they're pretty, <laughs> they're pretty accurate and uh, stick with that, Susan. Yeah, thank <laughs> you very much. What would you, uh, advice would you give to somebody who's constantly being told that they're in love with somebody but when they absolutely know they're not? How do you convey that to somebody? But what, say again? <laughs> 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 it's, it's obviously a personal issue between me and Piers. Right, OK, that his adoration for you and your resisting... Well, your Sarah resisting. Jessica Parker actually hinted at this the other day in your interview. She suddenly mm. started grilling Susanna about the quite obvious vibe she was picking up. Yes. And I just think Susanna's in denial about it. <laughs> right, OK. With your agony aunt head, how would you view the situation? As I said, I would trust your instincts. <laughs> just go back to basics. <laughs> Absolutely right. Can I ask something about Coronation Street? Because it's been something that's been in the background of my life. I never watched it regularly, but my grandmother loved it. Yeah. And I, all the family, mm -hmm. everything. It's been there as part of our lives for so long. Is it... Now it's so hard, the workload for everybody, especially for the top characters. Is it still fun to do it, or oh. is it... Pierce, I said I would only stay one year, and I'm 16 years mm. down the road, and anybody who comes in, that's, that's they, just, yeah. they just love it. What Johnson, makes it such fun? Man, it's such a family it's atmosphere. Family. That's it's your a... first episode, look at you. Is it me? <laughs> oh, my God, that's so long ago. <laughs> Blimey. You haven't well. changed a bit, though. No. Oh, I wish. Bless you, that's no, very kind. Well, you, uh, yeah. if anything, you're looking. You're actually more glam now than you were then. Oh, but you see, that's your makeup department here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the character is coming back, of course, Toya. Is yes, coming back. yes, so George I gather George Taylor's coming back. So people leave but can't stay away. Yeah, it is, it's a really lovely atmosphere. The crew, the cast, we're just one big happy family, and it sounds such a cliche, but it's really if true. If I could put you on a desert island with any member of the cast, Oh, please don't. Who would you take? <laughs> and, who who would, and who would you literally cross continents to avoid? <laughs> I couldn't possibly answer that one. Um, who would I take? Could I only take one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, gosh. It depends what kind of time I want to have on that island. The rest of your life, that's it. No, I couldn't. I'd probably... I'd, I'd, I'd go visit that surgeon that you were just talking <laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> There's no member of Coronation Street that, I'd want that to you be could on a, spend yeah. the rest of your life with. No! Really? Could you spend the rest of your life with, with one of your colleagues? Yes, she could. On a desert <laughs> island, yes. alone? No, exactly, you couldn't. Exactly, exactly what's on I'll tell on you who I'd go. I would take Richard, cause we're very good on, on a desert island. Let We've me give it straight. You would go to a desert island the rest of your life with Richard Arnold. Yes, we're very good on holiday. I, I become Mrs that. Arnold. <laughs> I love that. You make a fabulous couple. It's lovely to see you. Good you luck too. with the storyline. Please, at some point, realise 
He's not a good guy. Oh. Well, that would be really dull. That would be the end of the story. <laughs> though, <isn't it? laughs> so I'm loving it. Do you like it all juicy and spicy? Yes, yes, of course. More fun, you know, right? the, more, the more problems, the better. Well, you're a fabulous character. Thank we're, you. We're very honoured to have you on our we sofa. Are. Thank, Thank you. It's lovely to see you. Distilling, I think. I wasn't too happy about your advice, but we can work on that. But lovely to see you. Actually, a lot of people say, don't don't spoil anything oh, really? for me. Yeah, yeah, it's changed now where people are right. Uh, don't say anything. I, I, I wouldn't anyway. I'm so well trained in sort of keeping. Very, stum. very stum about everything. It's almost like, what, what can I say? Oh, no, that is OK. I, that bit's aired. Now, it's a well, rather different character you play in Upstart Crow, where you're much yes. cleaner. Yes.